get ready for the dictation start sir politics has always been defined as a system under which you determine who gets what how much and how politics is concerned with the distribution of assets resources and goods and services of the society but politics in our country has been reduced to a game of competitive acquisition and we politicians perhaps are very acquisitive animals we are always confronting each other in order to get wealth very hopefully for our states for our regions for our communities a bigger share of the cake some sort of a struggle is essential certain degree of competition ought to be there but when it is carried to a point where we start encroaching upon the legitimate aspirations of another region of our country then perhaps we give rise to a situation which does not augur well for harmony to which my friend referred sir we have two ways of looking at the problems that are with us today one is of course to go into contemporary reality the other is to take a conceptual view and that what i imagine the commission has tried to do what is ought to be what is the pattern that we should proceed towards of course the real test will always be how we can change from the contemporary reality to what ideal which we are harping on but the tendency that we find today whether it is the central government or the state governments the overall tendency over the last 50 years has been that every political party in our country and every political leader has been speaking in terms of decentralization or power keeping in view that surrender is the ultimate test but the actual fact we must admit that the trend has been towards centralization more and more power and more functions have gone upwards even from the level of the local bodies or municipalities the functions that we at one time carried out by panchayats they have all become concentrated into the hand what you call bureaucracy or the district administration or the state governments in fact if i say so to a large extent many of those functions have also in effect been concentrated in the hands of the central government there are ways of doing it some are blessed with favors and some are looked at with disfavor and that creates to my mind a situation which i think in the larger national interest we should avoid so how do we reverse this trend this is a question to my mind we must start with this confession that this trend of 50 years has to be reversed gandhi ji talked of the gram panchayat and that is why when i think of the center state relations i am not confining myself to just the relations between the center and the states i think you have to think of the center state relations in the larger perspective of decentralization of power when it logically follows that a state government must be prepared to share its power with the district level and whatever authority we have at the district level that power should be decentralized to the block level 
and right down to the gram panchayat level and i was very happy the other day when the prime minister did talk about reversing the planning process that is what we have been arguing for so many years that economic and social planning of this country must not be carried out in the ivory towers of delhi it must begin from the grassroots level a combination of panchayat plan must give us a district plans a combination of district plans must give us a state plan and similarly a combination of state plans must finally give us the national plan of course i am not taking into considerations those specific areas of authority in which for example the center is supreme there of course the center has to plan by itself i will come to that later but broadly that should be the pattern having said this i would like to say that from a purely functional point of view and by virtue of geography and history by virtue of the very size of our country and by virtue of the plurality which is a gift of history efficiency in administration and accountability are just not possible without a degree of decentralization if the village teacher is not working the education minister at the center cannot control it is impossible if a medical officer in the primary health center is not paying due attention to his job it is only at that level that his performance can be controlled and he can made accountable there itself therefore there has to be monitoring at that level and for that monitoring to be effective there has to be authority vested at that level stop